G'day, it's Mike here. Today we're looking at uh, a race at Springfield Lakes and we're looking at the, the, the different types of rules which you should use um, when you're sailing so you get the maximum performance out of your boats. And what we're going to do is look at 52 and what she does and also 917. So the key to starting uh, doing well on the race is to have a good start. So what we see here is 917 is on the right hand side, that's the orange boat, and 52 is on the left hand side. And 917 has an excellent start by basically starting on the windward end. <clears throat> 52, uh, they start cleanly, but 917 takes advantage of the windward end and, and, and tacks across in nice breeze. So rule one is to start well, start on the windward end. As you can see here that 52 is tacked across and um, 917 is covering her uh, quite well. So what we see here now is 917 and 52 are working up. Now the next thing you've got to look for when you're sailing is to make sure you work your telltales. So if you, your lured telltales start flapping, that means you need to move the boat to windward so that both telltales basically are in line. And 52 and um, uh, 917 do that extremely well. If you look further back in the fleet, a lot of the other boats aren't wearing telltales. And the difficulty is, is um, trying to work out where, where your boat is relative to the wind. You effectively need the front sail, the front part of the sail, to basically be in line with the breeze puffs as they come in. So um, it's much easier if you've got a number of telltales on to do that. You'll see the top boats in this fleet here all have telltales, numerous telltales. And 52 is working those telltales quite well. Uh, and moving the boat, you see here that she's um, moving the boat backwards and forwards to try and line up with the breeze. Uh, as, as she's headed, she'll bear away and try and keep the sails full. One indication of that is if the boat lifts up upright, it means you're pointing too far into the breeze. Um, and she does this particular rule. So that's the next thing you need to do is to work your telltales and position your boat relative to the wind at that sort of 35 to 40 degree angle to the wind. Uh, next rule is to make sure you don't overlay the marks. 52, 81 um, and 917 do clean roundings there and they don't overlay the mark. Every time you overlay the mark, costs you time and distance. So make sure you overlay the mark well. Uh, we're running downwind now, then one of the rules which you need to consider is to follow the puffs down. So if you get a, get a nice breeze, follow the puffs down, down, but also watch your telltale. If the telltale inverts or goes uh, towards the sail, it means you need to jibe. So it's critical to watch the telltales. And you'll see here as five twos go, goes down, the telltales invert and she will jibe, just as the other boats are working the jibes well. And the reason to jibe and, um, is to effectively have the sails fully uh, positioned uh, at 90 degrees to the downwind puffs. But try and carry those the critical thing here is to try and carry those puffs with you all the way down to the leeward mark. Trying to stay in the breeze is much better than doing a direct line from the windward mark to the leeward gate. The next important thing is on the gate positioning is to look at the leeward gate and to always go for the weather gate assuming that that's where the breeze is. So these boat, boats have gone to the actual leeward gate, and the reason for that is because the breeze is stronger on this side. There is also, uh, coming up this side, a knock, which they're looking for. But have a good look at those um, telltales, which uh, uh, Mike on 52 
continues to keep his lured telltales uh, fluttering a little bit and the reason for that is that you maximize the pressure on the sail maximize the drive 917 is doing an, uh, the same sort of thing and 197 also um, you'll see here 81 very difficult to sail a boat without actually telltales you've got, then you've got to rely on looking at your mast rate position relative you know to the breeze very very difficult though much easier if you've got some telltales there which um, effectively give you uh, the angles for trim I mean these conditions are conducive to having a full main uh, because you you need that drive in the lighter airs and uh, you can see that the setups on 52917 are very full drawing uh, jib and mainsail that creates more drive for the sail so that's the key is to set your sails up with the correct amount of drive and the correct correct amount of um, foot foot and cunning eye pressure next thing is also to look at your backstay and where the mast is relative to uh, the you know relative to the, the 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 center of effort versus the center of resistance in these lighter conditions particularly in downwind it's much better to have a mast which has a rake forward uh, definitely the, the the forward more forward rake pro provides for speed downwind however the offset of against that is that it makes you slower upwind so it's about getting the balance right Another thing is to make sure that you don't run into boats and try and avoid collisions. That's um, certainly one way of slowing your, your race down. And 5-2 does his penalty and continues to race. You can see as, we, as we're sailing downwind here, you can see the boats uh, obviously trying to maximize the use of their jib by letting the jib run out and 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 have a uh, a maximum sail area by running their jibs the jib on the the opposite side to the mainsail as we as we seeing the run run down here you can see here that 917 needs to jibe because his, his telltales were telling him that the wind is blowing across so coming up to the finish uh, it's critical once you're through the race, mainly through the race, main, through the race is to cover your competitors. And 5-2 comes across uh, to cover 197 and, nine, and 917. Always maintaining your speed in these light airs. Particularly if, it, if the wind dies off, it's much better to... Um, Bear away slightly and keep your, your, your sails drawing. You can see here on the telltales of night 52, she's really uh, sailing below the wind and trying for maximum speed. Always finish when you're racing on the leeward end of the finishing line. So work out which is the leeward end for the start finishing line and finish on that buoy. Trust you enjoyed these videos. Please feel welcome to subscribe. Lots of information on tuning and uh, how to set your boat up to maximize your performance. Um, we see here 917's coming in at the moment and accidentally flipped his toggle on his transmitter, which created, uh, he, lo he, he affected the rudder movement. And so he wasn't able to actually steer his boat. So 5-2, um, five, five what he's done with his toggles, he's actually uh, araldited them or, or siliconed them in place so he actually can't uh, accidentally knock them. So that's one other thing you should consider is 
is those toggles which you don't use, just put some silicon on them to stop this sort of situation which 917's just found himself in. Anyway, that's it for now. Trust you enjoyed these videos. See you on the water. Bye for now. Seven.